All right, well, here we are. Game plan, we got some round rod and a hood side, well, two of them. Uh, we kind of have everything sitting where it should be. There might be a little up and down, a little bit of play in here, but for the most part, the hoods are where they're supposed to be. I think we're pretty close to lined up with that and this side. So we got an even screwed up gap. We're gonna give it a, a decent amount of room, but I feel the game plan is gonna be, we're gonna do round rod under here. We're gonna start with it just right welded to the bottom of here and then we'll find a nice shape to which up around here, we're gonna cut this latch stuff out and we're gonna move it up to the front here. This should probably go in a little bit more here. Needs to do some of that, but anyways. We're gonna cut that out, move that up to this edge now, add a piece here, and we'll add a little bit through this whole spiel. That's the plan. And then after I think we're gonna try to see if we can figure a way to get this to hinge maybe to this front half. If not, I don't know. I only care about the front part of it, so we'll have to see if I can make that function, but yeah, I think we kind of have a go plan here. Uh, I'm gonna see behind here. I don't think there's really much of anything other than this thing's like all riveted and stuff, but it's just, I don't know, for me to do this makes sense instead of trying to re recreate all this stuff. For me, it makes sense anyways, so anyways, we'll mark off a straight cut. We're just gonna straight cut this thing. You can see where it's supposed to go, where it's close to into there. We'll end up taking this latch off and we'll move it up to wherever it needs to go. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll get started here. <laughs> Right. Well, this is usually where I stash my my wheels, but my uh, wheel selection starting to get really, really small. I'm actually looking for another pair of 14-inch Chevy wheels so I can uh, put them on the coupe. But I think my selections are getting pretty small. Oh, I think there's one right there. Yeah. That looks like one. I need one more now. I don't want some crazy offset, but I need some for the front. Well, I know that's S10, but that's the wrong S10. Oh. I really hope I have a full set of those. That'd be nice. That 58 Apache needs a set of wheels. We will just set that off to the side. <laughs> one. I just need one more.
All right, last night I got distracted. This was turning into a bit of a distraction, not working the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Anyways, I had a friend of mine gave me some tires. So we went, found some rims. I think I'm gonna mock these up. Two of them are not great. Uh, two of them have like some cracks in them. Two are, I don't know, they're, they look good. I don't know. So I'll throw those up front. We'll kind of use them to mock up. I'm hoping they're about the same size as what I got on the car. Uh, I'd like to do the radials, but I don't actually have a full set of them. So, well, and this will be fine for rolling around and stuff now. At least everything will have the right look. At least that's my thought. So, I uh, I don't think I'm switching those out right now, but I think I'll sit and try to fight with this today now. <laughs> uh, it's just because on the car with the fender, it's making everything such a struggle. So I'm kind of, I'm not 100% how I like this right now. But we're trying to do a somewhat of a semi-nice spacing, and then we're just going to tack some garbage on there that I can take this fender side off, or hood side off, and actually work it on the bench. I want to take the hood side off, and then I want to add to the front of the hood and move this thing. That's kind of the idea. Anyways, I guess we'll... Uh, Start scabbing some parts on here and see where we get. All right, this will get us into the ballpark. I, uh, I know I want to tweak that, but at least I can kind of get a piece of steel on there. And 
and maybe I can kind of stick my head in through here and we can do a better Sharpie mark maybe. Maybe I should have just done that in the first place. I don't know. But it, it's okay. I mean, we're really analyzing the crap out of it right now. From standing up, staring at it, nobody's really going to notice that stuff's a little out. Because here, we're just a hair. I have a hard time getting a very fluid motion to get it nice. So I'm tacking it, kind of doing that. So roughly what I'm going to do after is, we'll pull it off. I'm going to do a really rough sheet metal sketch of this and then we'll tack it just above it. And then the bottom will be close, but I think maybe I can, after that, I can Sharpie this and then we can kind of weld this bottom edge to it. Maybe the, that maybe was a better idea how to do it than what I just did now, but either way, from here it looks okay. It's got a nice, I don't want it too tight because the way the clip is held on, all it is is bolted here and it'll be attached to the running boards on the bottom and then it's got the center pin and the sheet metal, like the uh, brace, fender brace has come around, but they still attach to the grill shell. So in the end, the grill shell has a single bolt right here. So it can, like, it does have flex to it. So, you know, you don't want it too tight. Otherwise, you'll just be banging your paint like crazy. All right. Anyways, now I think what I'm going to do is pull the hood off, split the two sides. Well, maybe I don't have to. I can maybe work with the whole hood together. We'll uh, kind of roughly sheet metal this. And then I think, I know I have this marked goofy and I think I'm going to end up changing this front part yet, but I might zap this back, but then we'll cut this off. We'll move it ahead to line up with the front of this and uh, kind of tack in something into there just to see. Try to get a good shape. Try to put it back together and see if we made stuff right. <laughs> Alrighty. Yep, the more I ponder, it's just not gonna happen. So I guess we're gonna get started. <laughs>
eh? Isn't that nice? Got the door open in the shop. Not super warm, but it's still nice to get some fresh air in. <laughs> All right. Hood side's on. Test fit it. Don't like it. <laughs> I kind of pushed this over, figured I could trim it. It's not good. So we're going to cut this. I'm actually going to bring this down. I'm going to zip cut this part here quick. And then uh, I can kind of move this latch over the front of it to line up. I figured I could just trim it away, but now it just feels too close to the front of the hood. If we go with this side here, there's roughly, well, it's not going to be the same, but we'll kind of stick with whatever the original was. So, which means I'm bringing it back maybe an inch, something like that. I just went with it because it sort of just flowed with the hood, but I think it can still do that because there is no, nothing saying that it has to be like straight up and down because this latch kind of, the, the slot is kind of crooked that way. And this one can be just straight up and down, if that makes sense. Anyways, uh, bring it to the bench. Let's just cut this thing loose. I'm gonna zap in. You see me before, I had a bar in there and it was just holding this shape that I wanted, right? Now I'm gonna just zap that bar one or two places to which then I can cut this, move this back after I cut this to the tip of that. And then, uh, you know, hopefully this front part stays straight. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be adding a bit. I noticed up here I got to add a wee bit and I got to trim some of that back, but we got some solid rod in there, so that'll be, that'll be easy when the time comes. All right, let's cut this up and get her back on the bench.
Well, it fits, it looks okay. It sure didn't work out the way I wanted, but I still gotta do this corner and work that little bottom corner on that side. This edge still needs to get worked. It's okay. I kind of, I think I overdid it with the wheel. It's got a little bit of a roundness to it. Uh, I don't know, like it's not bad. Like I know it's there, but I think once there's paint on it, it won't be a big deal, but kind of goofed. So it's kind of got an overall a little bit of a bow to it. Eh, I have to figure out how to shrink. Got to shrink the whole panel, but I don't know how to really do that. I really don't want to have to make the whole panel from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much time in this though. That is whacked. Ugh. Ah, it's crappy. Oh well. We'll try the other side, see how it goes. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we just scrap it and start over. That would suck, eh? Oh. Well, it would suck, but it's not the end of the world. We've got the initial, like the outside framing, so. I don't know, just because it's shiny down there, it kind of gives it a really crappy illusion that it's like root. I'll turn my light off, maybe it's better, I don't know. I don't know, ah, whatever. <sighs> Let's try on here, see where we go. <laughs> uh, I don't know what happened. I got a little too much heat in it on the spot or two and it kind of did a little wrinkle. So then I just tried to give it a light wheeling and I think I put a little too much pressure on it and then it kind of wonk, kind of went out. Ah, poop. Oh well. Oh well. We'll try again. Maybe this one's the winner. <laughs> we'll probably do it differently against the passenger side. Should have started there, eh? Like I always say. <sighs> well, okay. That was a whole, whole lot of work. We'll just do it one more time.
Well, we are so close. It's not bad. Yeah, I'm just saying, I don't actually mind this bow. It's not terrible. We've kind of got it on the other side, but we seem to have goofed. <clears throat> I think I got too much swank going on. Something moved, so <clears throat> I basically chalked this off. I did the same the other side. I'm gonna have to cut the bottom. We're gonna raise the bar back up to straighten this out uh, because this doesn't sit tight. So we need to give it some breathing room so this can come down. Uh, right now it's getting hung up on the fender so it's kind of pushing everything up and kind of screwing stuff up. We got an okay gap. It's a little small but it's okay down there. So I basically just got to, I think if I work that end we should be pretty much good. The We kind of have it mirrored the same. I took these off so I could roll it a little further up but over here we're still a little flat. You can't see but kind of does this into this transition that we kind of bowed out a bit so I gotta work this a little bit more just to get this to hump up a little just a little because the front's got it there's a nice little bit of a, a pocket into there so then would flatten out if we could get that to sandwich up <laughs> we're not quite centered up here so there is some give in all of that but I'm uh I'm kind of done for the day that's for sure that was a uh, that's a lot of work. We got to give this a fresh cleanup yet because, well, since we've rolled this out, we've banged out most of these. So uh, a lot of this is, can be ground down a little better. But other than that, like this side's nice. This side, I want to do the same thing. I want to cut this up and raise this a little bit. And then if this has to, I guess I'll cut the whole bottom and re-weld it back on just to give it more breathing room. There's enough in there, like you can see when this is gonna bounce. It's not hitting the, not hitting the fender. Like there's room. It's more or less the front, because I want this to come, this can't go down anymore, so I can't get this to sit flush with the grill, so. There is supposed to be a welting in here, so that'll hold this up. I kind of just rammed something in there to, to try to mimic the height right now. But like again, like I said, we gotta trim. Things gotta shift and move and like what I gotta do is take the lights off and then we can kinda get the, uh, get the lines all straight. Cause you can see here, it's not terrible. And then we gotta build some up up here. Almost ideally is to weld the sucker shut and cut a new gap, but. <laughs> uh, well, I think, uh, I will save you the, the grief of watching me cut and re-weld that, but I'll probably do it on the outro part here. For now, for you folks, <laughs> I think this is where I'm going to call it. I, uh, I want to thank you all for uh, watching, and uh, we will catch you on the next one.